the, the master in urbanism is part of a big master, which is called master's degree in advanced studies in architecture. I hope you already know that. Uh, it's a master with which has different lines, but our master is uh, uh, it's a master which is directly linked with the department of urbanism, territory, and landscape in the Barcelona School of Architecture. Okay, so uh, this master is taught at the Universitat Politecnica de Catalunya, is part of the School of Architecture in Barcelona, and in this School of Architecture we have the, some departments, and our department of urbanism is 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 the department in charge of this teaching. So all the lecturers you are going to have, they are part of this department of urbanism. Inside the department of urbanism, we have two research groups which are very important because they provide a, let's say, research-oriented, design-oriented approach to our master. So we have on the one side, we have Laboratory de Urbanismo de Barcelona. It's a very old master, uh, sorry, a research group, like more than 50 years old. And then we have research group in urbanism, which is also a very powerful um, research group uh, working both of them with, the, with urbanism at the different scales. So the MBR provides different lines, different tracks. Uh, here you can see uh, urbanism in, in, Sp in Spanish, urbanism, urbanism in English. And then let me also inform you that there is another track, which is in English, which is contemporary project. Uh, only contemporary project and urbanism are taught in English, fully taught in English. Okay, so uh, that means that uh, at some point there's some options to choose other subjects from other tracks. So probably the most normal uh, approach is to take some something from the contemporary project. Um, but let me start why we call the master in urbanism. Uh, probably where you are from, you, you have heard about urban design or urban studies or urban planning. And we, we, we don't use these words for the master. We, we like to, to, to call the master in urbanism because it's a, it's a very, um, uh, let's say, Barcelona-based word because it was very much used by Ildefon Cerdà, the, the designer, the engineer designed the grid of Barcelona. And it's a word that somehow uh, integrates both these three different visions. So in this master, we are not, we are going to have uh, urban design, we are going to have urban studies, and we are going to have urban planning discussions. Of course, not at the full depth uh, of, of, of thought and, 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 and teaching, but uh, at the same time, we are going to try to focus, to, to approach all these three different uh, approaches. So you are going to have some subjects which are directly uh, going into urban studies, so methods, tools, how to write, how to cite, how to how to how to read how to draw we are going to have some discussions about urban planning for example when we are on a more territorial scale but also we are going to discuss and practice some design methods and strategies at the scale of the urban design okay so uh this master is a very old master uh it's um it, it, it's like the evolution of a, a another master which was called master of research in barcelona okay um, it, uh, the aim of this master basically is to train professionals to face the challenges of contemporary urbanism. So although we are going to use history, although we are going to use uh, analysis of, of old or, or less contemporary uh, urbanism, we, we want to, to learn from the cities to approach contemporary issues. And you're going to see in the presentation what do we mean when we talk about contemporary issues. Also, it's a, it's a master that combines design, as I, I was telling you, but also some interdisciplinary approaches. You are going to see that we have in our program some uh, experts coming from outside the academia to give us some lectures. And also we try to, to link theory and practice. Basically, because all the lectures you are going to have, they also have a professional or they have had a professional uh, practice outside the academia, so we try to, to, we believe really in this integration between theory and practice. And last but not least, of course, this is an official master, and uh, with this master you can also follow the PhD program, okay? If you are interested in the, after this master, if you get a good result, a good evaluation, then you can enroll into the PhD program in urbanism, which is the same program like in the Spanish master in urbanism, okay? but 
uh, just let, let me stress you that this is the only master that UPC um, offers to do this um, uh, fully in urbanism to do this PhD program in urbanism, at least at the Barcelona School of Architecture. Um, then let me introduce about uh, why uh, why urbanism and also why Barcelona. So first of all, Barcelona, um, we are in a very specific context. So what you are going to learn here is, of course, a very broad uh, uh, approach to urbanism, but very much focused on what we have in Barcelona that, of course, can be shared with other cities around the world. It's a, it's a city that probably you know, probably you have been before, but it's a city where urbanism is, uh, is a, like a very important asset in the, not only in the academia, but also in the professional and cultural atmosphere and, and, and criticism in the city. For example, on the one side, we can say that Barcelona is a really a laboratory of urban design, and, uh, and you, can, uh, you, can, you can, of course, recognize some very old, let's say, projects that, in fact, they are very contemporary projects because we are still building the grid of Echample, Cerda, but also it's a place where, where you can still recognize the powerful transformation during the Olympic Games in 92, but also the last tactical urbanism that you can find in the super blocks in Barcelona, for example. Barcelona is also, for us, it's a laboratory, but of urban research. So we, we, we think that Barcelona is not only a place where you can really see the transformation, but also where you can test different ideas. And all these pictures is just a, a small portion of the research that has been done in our department, in our research group, starting by some, of course, lessons that are more linked to history of Barcelona, but also going to the most advanced digital mapping, uh, trying to understand the logics behind the form of the city. Mm. But also, uh, as you can imagine, it's an international venue, not only because it's a very tourist city, but also because of in terms of urbanism, in terms of urban research, we have different initiatives like that are happening every now and then. For example, this is the International Biennale of Landscape. That is a, it's an important world uh, prize in landscape urbanism. Then we also have a landscape architecture. We also have some initiatives that come from the young architects in Barcelona and Catalonia, like for example, this Biennale Arquitectura Jova. Or, of course, as you, can, as you know, in 2026, Barcelona is the UNESCO World Capital of Architecture, and for sure there will be a lot of events coming. Uh, also, uh, from our department, we, we try to organize uh, every year a symposium where we gather all the people uh, interested in urban studies, and we, of course, encourage the students to participate in this seminar which has two uh, venues one in barcelona and the other can be lisbon or can be portugal uh, sorry uh, or brazil or any other country in the world and of course every and finally sorry uh, we have also a very important initiative which is uh, uh, the annual prize which is given to the best european doctoral thesis in urbanism so that means any doctoral thesis presented in Europe, in Europe, in any European university can participate in this initiative, which is the Manuel de Sola Morales European Prize. Um, but of course, it's also a, most of, of all the things I have been mentioning, it's a place to visit, it's a and live. And we, we like to say that it's a, the, an open book of urbanism where you can just go around, and these are photographs of some students on the last year uh, going to, to different places in Barcelona, having conferences in, in different spaces in the Barcelona. Barcelona is a platform where we can learn uh, urbanism, and we, we like to go to walk and to visit. And of course, finally, the Barcelona School of Architecture, as you can, as you know, probably is uh, one of the best schools in, in Europe, is the According to this ranking, the QS ranking is the best university uh, in terms of architecture in Spain. It's the number eight in Europe and 19 in the world. And uh, well, these are just rankings, uh, but we, what we think that uh, we, 
we need to go beyond the rankings and we, we need to have a very, uh, let's say, personal and 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 face-to-face -face conversation so we we like to to think in a master where we, we don't have a lot of students but we have let's say a, a, a small group of students where there is a, a very close interaction with the with the with the tutors and we we can discuss we can debate we can really have a, a very um uh, close education process let's say nonetheless the school is very big the school has a around 4,000 students of architecture in total. Uh, from them, 80, 800 students are in master and doctoral students. And of course, we have a big number of tutors, of teachers um, from different positions. And we, we, we also like to explain that uh, uh, a huge amount of our teachers in our school, they are practitioners, so they have a direct connection with the profession we also they also have a direct connection with the administration and more specifically in our master we we like to invite people from uh, different institutions like for example barcelona metropolitan area or regional barcelona regional another entity which is linked to the latest transformations in urbanism in barcelona um, let me also introduce that, uh, as I was telling you, Barcelona is a very specific context and uh, we like to say that our master in urbanism is centered mainly in what we call Mediterranean urbanity. So probably most of you, you are not from the Mediterranean basin, let's say, some of you probably yes. Uh, but we we somehow tend to think that uh, we teach a specific way of doing urbanism, which is very linked to a Mediterranean culture, which is linked to a Mediterranean weather, Mediterranean social and economical context. And uh, in, the, in the last years, we are trying to focus all the courses, all the assignments and all the, all the topics, or at least most of them, into the Mediterranean uh, culture. That's, that not means that if you are coming uh, from another uh, continent from America, for example, or from Asia, um, it, uh, is not linked to your interest because what we try to do is, is to focus and to frame the case of Barcelona as a very unique, but at the same time, replayable example to other contexts. So this concept, for example, uh, is guiding all the theoretical topics. So we try to select cities and cases from the Mediterranean basin. I say try because sometimes we, of course, explain things that are happening in Northern Europe, in America, or any other, any other context. Uh, we also try to to prepare assignments which are linked with this condition. We we also try to to prepare some master thesis that are connected with these Mediterranean urbanities. But uh, at the same time, let me inform you that these master thesis are not exactly only about Barcelona or Mediterranean. For example, we have some students that are doing comparison between uh, he or his or her uh, city and some cities in the Mediterranean culture, for example. So uh, for us, it's a very, um, uh, let's say, a, a very specific way of understanding what we teach and what we try to learn. At the same time, let me inform you that we are starting to establish some links between cities in the, and universities in the Mediterranean basin. So in order to organize, for example, a course trip that we have in January, as you are going to see in the next slides, and also to prepare somehow like a sort of exhibition of the things we are doing in this master. Um, so what, what are the topics we work with? So in the in this slide, I'm going to show you just some some topics that somehow are addressed in this master. Of course, there are many: urban form, urban history, design, territories, the city, but also the scale of urban architectures, mobility, foodscapes, housing, production, experience, conflict, ecology. These are somehow like new scenarios that are happening in the Mediterranean uh, basin and also in Barcelona, but I would say in all the cities in the world. And of course, we try to address topics like urban regeneration, urban form and activities, how, how they are linked, our cultural landscape and territories, urban 
project and infrastructure, metabolism and ecology, mapping and network analysis, and also other issues like feminism and urbanism or new housing typologies. Um, all these uh, like uh, keywords of uh, uh, that are that are somehow organizing the different subjects and the different courses. So how do we organize the master? So you, at least you have two different ways of doing this master. The most uh, common one is this first one, where you just choose master in urbanism English track, and then you have sixty credits. Uh, develop in two semesters uh, starting in September and then you have three compulsory courses and then you have um, six elective courses and then you have a master's thesis. This is the most common uh, way of doing the master and is the one that we that we normally have and we uh, normally discuss with the students. Okay. Then there is another option which is double specialization which means that you can choose two different tracks in the master MB arc. So for example, you can choose any other track in Spanish or contemporary project and urbanism. Uh, what we encourage is the students to choose, for example, master in urbanism and another. So that means that you are going to have like 90 credits in three semesters, not in two. Then you have the same three compulsory courses, but you have 10 elective courses and the master thesis you only do one master thesis uh, after the experience of the last courses we we are trying to prioritize those students that either choose the single specialization or they choose double specialization but master in urbanism as the first uh, track that is because we 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 think that these three compulsory courses that are linked to this the first track they should be in urbanism because if not you, you have some lacks for example in terms of theory in terms of uh tools and and, and representation tools and so on so uh, in summary uh we recommend you to take the single specialization or to choose a double specialization if possible and we prioritize those students that choose mastering urbanism, and then the second line can be from any other track. Um, also, let me inform you about another option, which is uh, quite in interesting, maybe for you, which is also a double master degree, which means that you can have the MB arc, single specialization, and a master in architecture Tongji University in Shanghai, in just two years. That's a, that's a very interesting combination. Some students really appreciate that because then instead of having this situation where they only have, well, that's a lot, but only have a master in MBR, they also just extend another year in Shanghai. And then at the end, they present one single master thesis in Barcelona. With this, you get not only the MBR, but also the master in architecture in Tongji in Shanghai. Okay, so those who are interested, they just go into the website at subupc.edu and then you can find here the, inf the information. You don't need to choose now when you pre-enroll. It's just a decision that you can take during the first semester. Okay, there are only three open positions. So there is a sort of competition and, and, uh, and the, the administration take uh, the best students to go to Tungi. So how we organize the course? We have two semesters. Let's talk about this single specialization. And we start with one week welcome workshop. OK, in this workshop, we give you some resources. And of course, we give you some GIS tools so that you can somehow have a basic knowledge of, of the basic representation tools in, in urbanism, not only with digital tools, but also uh, hand, uh, hand drawing. Then you are going to have five different lectures, of course, sorry, uh, architecture, city and project, cultural landscape, architecture, environment and technology, architecture, theory and criticism, and public space in the urban reform. 
in this way, starting at three o'clock and ending at six o'clock. Let me tell you that this, well, perhaps it's a question at the end, but uh, some students re ask, oh, can I work while I am doing the master? Of course, uh, as you can see in the schedule, this, the master is very compressed in between three hours in the afternoon, uh, but basically you should consider the amount of work that you are going to have, okay? So this is a decision that you need to take into account, okay? Especially at the end of the semester, there is a lot of work, and of course, if you want to end the master uh, well and, and a good uh, results, you need to evaluate and to take into consideration the amount of work. Okay? On the second semester that starts on February, we have a field trip that is linked to a subject, a course. Uh, we are working on a, on a system of grants for the students so that you can really enjoy the trip also as part of the course of the master without having a, a huge expense from your side. And uh, we are having this intense uh, field trip. And then we have three main subjects in the second semester, contemporary residential urban project, designing the city for emerging cities and territories, and public space experiences, projects and policies. And in yellow, you see that uh, it's not, a, uh, let's say, an ordinary class. It's just time for doing personal tutorship of your master's thesis. So this is somehow the structure of the master. Four subjects in the, uh, sorry, five subjects in the first semester, three plus one intensive field trip in the second semester. So let me uh, go through the different subjects and courses with some images so that you can really have a picture of what we try to do in our master. This is the first inter introductory workshop. Um, on, on the first, we, what we have is it's uh, this, um, and, uh, we go to the, to the library and we have a sort of, of, of visit to some of the resources. Some are very old. Uh, archives. We have the a very uh, one of the best libraries in architecture. Uh, we have a lot of files, including some, for example, from Gaudi, but also some other maps that can be useful for your research. We also train some basic uh, representation uh, tools, uh, drawing the city of Barcelona. You are going to draw a lot in our master. You are going to to, to go deep into the shape of, and the form of the city through drawing. And then, of course, we are going to train some GIS tools. On the first semester, we have uh, an important course, which is theory and criticism, where we try to give you 10 key urban concepts like density, morphology, accessibility, um, social justice. And we try to mix practical training and also theory. So you, we give you a, uh, some, let's say, um, theory, some concepts, and then we try to find how can we apply them into a very practical way to analyze and understand the city. On the second course we have is city and projects, and basically is where we focus on history, culture, and the transformation of cities. These are, for example, some of the works developed by students in the last course, where we, where they went from the scale of the city to understanding some urban spaces linked to markets and activities, but also discussing about more, let's say, quantitative data regarding the city. This is somehow a subject that uh, really goes into a more history of the city approach. The third subject is environment and technology. And in here, we try to, to give you some concepts about uh, ecological systems, blue and green infrastructure, and, and try to discuss how, from the perspective of urban designers, urban planners, or urbanists in general, can use and can understand the ecological features to better and, and improve our cities. So in this course, for example, you are going to have not only a theoretical approach, but also you are going to develop a design for a specific part of, of, of our context. Then also you, you, can, you are going to have a course which is called Cultural Landscape, Heritage and Territorial Design, 
and where you are going to focus basically at, on contemporary territory. You, this is the, the court where you are going to face the largest scale that somehow can be analyzed, can be approached from the field of urbanism. And, and you are going to have different theory, theoretical courses, but with some assignments uh, that can then give you tools to better interpret and analyze uh, the territory. Uh, it's important to highlight something. Um, in our master, we, we try to think that uh, urbanism is not only a matter of uh, law, is not only a master of management, is not only a master of quantitative data, but also it's a, ma it's a matter of form. So as architects, designers, engineers, we need to approach urban problems really knowing about the logics of the form. We should be experts in the form of the city, experts in the forms of the territory. And to do that, the Barcelona School of uh, Architecture and the tradition of this master uh, has guided us to a very strong education on cartography, on representation, uh, including in this world, uh, in this world, sorry, a uh, very wide, let's say, a spectrum of, of possibilities. Of course, starting by cartographies, but also including other different ways of approaching to the realities. That's why some, sometimes we try to say that we, we tend to, to repeat this, this word coined by Manuel de Sola Morales, talking about the urbanism for architects. So we need to know the reality to somehow transform it and improve it. Um, finally, the first semester, it's a, it's a course called Public Space in the Urban Reform. And basically, in this course, which is on Fridays, we try to go to Barcelona. So we have five lectures on Barcelona's urbanism, five visits to different places in Barcelona. For example, in this picture, you can see the visit to 22 Ad district, to a place which is the, the, uh, a very important and prominent mountain in the center of Barcelona, but also the super blocks in Barcelona. These visits are done with the tutor, with the lecturers, and, and you can really see uh, yourself uh, the reality of urban uh, urbanism in Basel. On the second semester, we start by a field trip. These are, for example, photographs from the last trip we did, which was by train to Montpellier and Marseille. So we were visiting uh, different places, contemporary neighborhoods, new housing, but also the historical towns of Montpellier and, and Marseille, um, uh, where we can see what is going on in a very um, um, close uh, context like this France, for example. Every year we try to change and, and try to find other places to visit. Then we have a course which is uh, key aspects of urban projects uh, that basically give, will give you uh, some tools and design strategies to face complex urban projects. Uh, it's a course that is trying to give you uh, theory, but also design tools for designing uh, urban projects. Then a second course, which is about public space where we, of course, have a very uh, good example in Barcelona. Barcelona is a prominent city regarding the public space. And we try to focus on this public space, not only from the perspective of the project, which is, of course, very important and interesting, but also from the perspective of experience and policies. So trying to include here a more phenomenological approach to the public space and also management approach to this uh, kind of areas in the city. And uh, third, we have this contemporary residential housing project where we try to, to focus on housing design, mm, trying to understand the parameters that are somehow structuring and defining these contemporary uh, residential projects, but also visiting some of these 
areas uh, in Barcelona, uh, along with uh, the architects that design this kind of projects. So this is a, a very important subject uh, facing and trying to understand what are the new housing paradigms in contemporary cities. And last but not least, we try to go in this subject out of the context of Barcelona, out of the Mediterranean basin, and we try to focus on what we call emergent cities, considering both the meaning of emergent as an emergency. So we, we focus on cities at war, post-disaster territories. How can we face the understanding and the design of these cities? And then, of, of course, uh, going into the, into the expression of emergent cities uh, as an emergent context, for example, going to new urban contexts worldwide, for example, going to Latin America, understanding other contexts that are very different from Barcelona, but at the same time uh, can be um, um, interesting to see from the perspective of our tools and our methods of understanding urbanism. So during the master, you are going to have also not only the lecturers, but also you are going to have other um, uh, speakers. Uh, for example, we have been in this year uh, inviting people, uh, experts in urban collaborative strategies, uh, engineers talking about the metropolitan area of Barcelona and the new mobility and infrastructure um, system. We have the opportunity to listen to Salvador Rueda, one of the, um, let's say, promoters of the super blocks, and also at the small scale self building uh, of houses, and also uh, coming from another perspective, for example, Mar Mongeo from Barcelona Regional Agency, talking about heat islands in cities and how to face them using nature. The master ends with the master thesis. The master thesis is an open topic uh, that should be uh, in dialogue with the, your tutor. But of course, in our master, uh, these are uh, master thesis from the line in, in Spanish, but um, most of them. And um, But we, we also uh, try to focus the master thesis that we develop in our master according to these Mediterranean urbanities in a very a general, um, let's say, sense of the world. So as I was telling you, you can do a comparison between your city and another city in Mediterranean culture. You can choose a topic that can be interesting both in Mediterranean cultures and other cultures as well. So, but we try to somehow frame the, the discussion in a very, let's say, local based approach. Uh, the department in urbanism is a very big department where we teach uh, around 75 professors, lecturers, uh, practitioners, most of them. And all these lecturers, they give uh, teaching to the grade and postgraduate. And in our Master in Urbanism, we have uh, nine uh, lecturers. We have Ines Aquilue, Miquel Martí, Melissa Pessoa, Eulalia Gómez, Carlos Crosas, Stefano Cocelado, Catherine, Teresa, Garcia, and myself, Alvaro. And we, we try to, to, to give you different perspectives. So in this group, we have people that are more in, uh, expert, let's say, at the scale of the public space, others that are coming from the engineering field, others that are coming into a more, let's say, uh, territorial scale oriented, landscape oriented, so we try to, to, to give a, a, a wide spectrum of approaches to the urbanism field of knowledge. I am finishing just to let you know that we have uh, three important Instagram accounts. On the left, you see uh, the, the Instagram of the department, which is a very general Instagram. Then we have our own Instagram account, MBR, uh, urbanism where you can just follow us and we are putting there some information and the news that we are collecting and of course we have the master in urbanismo which is also another account where you can follow the activities of both lines okay just to finish um we offer a scholarship so we offer 
four scholarships, two for students in urbanismo, Spanish, and two for urbanism in English. Uh, this scholarship is offered by the IMU, Institut Municipal d'Urbanisme, which is an institution in the Barcelona uh, City Council, and they will uh, refund you the cost of the enrollment of the MBR. And the condition is that the students that uh, got this grant should develop a master thesis on urban regeneration, which is a somehow wide, at the same time, specific field of knowledge. And the topic will be later tutorized by a professor of the MBR and will be validated by the EU. It's just to know that it is, if you have a very specific field uh, of research uh, before, uh, uh, let's say, opting for this grant, you should take into account that the master's thesis should be somehow framed into this topic, urban regeneration. Okay? The procedure will be open in July 2024. And meanwhile, if you are interested, while you are doing the pre-enrollment, you can write, if you are interested in urbanismo in Spanish, just write to Julian Galindo, uh, upc.edu. And if you are interested in the urbanism, this line in English, just write me an email once you are doing the pre-enrollment and you are accepted to this pre-enrollment, you just contact me. I am interested to opt for this scholarship, okay? Uh, yeah, uh, more information. Yeah, of course, you, you, I know you have been uh, searching in, um, in the website, but you can have some links here for more administration and rules. You have this link. If you are interested in more academic content, you have this more uh, open website, mbrmastersupc.edu. And of course, you can write us directly to our email, mbr.urbanism uh, at upc.edu. And thank you for your attention. Thank you.